What's up guys, Apox here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a Skyrim script extender and this basically allows you to use a bunch of mods and ENBs and fixes on Skyrim and it's really helpful for those reasons. Now, I definitely do suggest if you're ever going to install any mods or any fixes or anything for Skyrim or any other game, you got to get the script extender for that game. Uh, this mainly is based around Skyrim, Oblivion, Fallout 3, and Fallout New Vegas. Um, so I'm going to link you guys to this page, skse.silverlock.org, and that will be down in the description below. Now I do suggest that you guys download the most current build, and the basically what this is, is the most stable one. Now there is also an alpha build that you can buy, or not buy, sorry, that you can get, but uh, sometimes these may have issues. I'm personally going to install the alpha build, and I'm just going to save the exe. To my downloads. You can also do this manually if you really want to, but uh, I wouldn't really suggest it just because the EXE is just seems to be easier for me. And also, it will automatically install it to your directory so that you don't have to worry about manually dragging everything in. Now we can just go ahead and click next and SKSE core and desktop shortcut. If you don't want a desktop shortcut for this, you can uncheck it, but I'm going to keep it on there. Now install and it's completed so we can just close now once that is done we can go ahead and start up Skyrim SKSE alright so now we are switched into Skyrim and as you can see if we hit the console command button and type in get SKSE version and hit enter it will pop up SKSE version 1.7.0 release IDX 45 runtime 0 blah 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 and it will pop up if it gives you like an error or something that means it's not working um, so you want to make sure that you install it properly if you do have like a CD version or something like that uh, you're probably going to have to manually install it uh, but yeah that is how you install SKSE for Skyrim Script Extender hopefully this d video did help you guys out but anyways guys this has been Epoxy Click that subscribe button down below if it did help you out or if you enjoyed this video. And click that subscribe button if you guys want some more tutorials or mod videos or even Call of Duty kind of videos and such. But anyways guys, this has been Epoxy. Don't forget to stay sexy and stay gaming. I'm out. Peace. Invincible.